Yo, what's up, man? It's your boy Derek Branch at StrikeSevenSports.com. In today's video, I just want to go ahead and talk about a article that was published by a ESPN college basketball writer and contributor, um, ESPN radio show host, um, as well, uh, Myron Metcalf. He put out a, uh, a story that had the uh, that talks about the 32. Uh, 32 storylines at the midway point of the college basketball season. And each storyline included each, he had a storyline for like all of the uh, 32 storylines for 32 of the uh, conferences that uh, that participate in the, in, uh, the NCAA tournament, March Madness. And at the midway point for the American, he talked about the uh, budding rivalry between FAU and Memphis, and he was just in the the, the write up that he did. He was just talking about how what occurred last year with the um, game winning shot by Florida Atlantic, and how everything else has transpired ever since. And Florida Atlantic, you know, got this um, you know, they, they were just start off. I think ranked in the top ten, if I'm not mistaken, in college basketball, and. You know, it's just what has transpired so far this season. He'll just explain, explain it, sum it up that Penny may have to go through the, the Owls twice to, like, win his first AAC regular season title. And um, he may, he may not. But my response to that is, you know what? I got that little, I got a little joke, a little running joke that I make sometimes from here and there from time to time. About how you know, you know, I don't have the biggest platform at the moment, but a lot of these bigger sites, you know, bigger outlets, have the same line of thinking that I have sometimes when I think of when I make certain, you know, notions about about certain topics. And I and over the summer, you know, I kind of made a, a, a video talking about how. You know, FAU and Memphis could be a, a potential rivalry down the road, and a lot of people, a lot of Memphis folks, you know, Tiger fans, kind of pushed back on that, and it just kind of felt they felt as though Memphis is not. It, 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 I'm not bad. It felt as though Florida Atlantic is not in Memphis's class yet, and that may be the case. That may not be the case, but you know, they they start off the season ranked compared to Memphis. Memphis had to earn their way into the top 25. It took a while. Uh, Florida Atlantic, Atlantic has luck, has had a few letdowns, you know, but they had an impressive win over Arizona, which pretty much caught everybody's attention, even a few Memphis folks. And people like um, John Martin of 92.9 made a statement about um, Florida Atlantic and Memphis being, you know, potential final four contenders or for the contenders for the elite eight and that still may be the case but i think it is looking more and more like memphis gonna be that that, that team that could possibly represent the american in the final four the elite eight but florida atlantic is still kept the top 25 ranking despite i believe the losses they've had you know and those games those two matches could very well determine the um the AAC the AAC this the season it probably will. Now in regards to rivalry, um, it depends. It depends on how long Dustin may decide to stay at Florida Atlantic. Like I said in a previous video talking about this this, this topic and the type of talent they could bring in and how well they can utilize the transfer portal. Because I think that's gonna be that's gonna be Penny Hardaway's method of um how he built his team going forward. You know, um, I think he's going to shift away from, you know, stocking his roster with four and five star recruits. You may have your, you might have your one of ones and twosies here and there, but I think it's that roster going to be built up from mostly transfer portal talent. You know, so that's what's going to determine the rivalry, man. I think it's going to be more Florida and how they could, how, how well Florida Atlantic can replenish their roster. You know, compared to Memphis's. Now, if you ask me, I think Tulane is more of a rival to Memphis than the Florida Atlantic. You know, um, 
Tulane beat Florida Atlantic. No, Tulane beat Memphis twice last season during the regular season. And they've had their, they've had Memphis, but Memphis has had issues with Tulane in the past on the Penny Hardaway. You know, so it's just um it's just a lot of factors in play. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, man, that's what I just that's the joke, that's what the joke is about. I just say sometimes I say that these outlets Big this be stealing my content, be stealing my ideas because I'll be having the same amount of thinking on certain topics. But right now, man, you know, a lot of factors are going to determine that. Factors are going to determine if this is going to be a long term rivalry, like a, like a Duke in North Carolina or, you know, um, you know, North Carolina, North Carolina State. You know, these other rivalries they got out there, you know, um, maybe. Houston and uh, Kansas is going to start us up in the Big 12, but we'll see how it plays out, though. And this ain't a dig at Myron Metcalf, because I think he's a very, um, really, he's a really good uh, contributor for college basketball. I think one of the most underrated contributor, contributors ESPN has, though. See, he's sharp. He's solid, he's solid, though, but there's nothing wrong with having those having that notion of FAU being a um, a, a budding rivalry, a budding rival to the Tigers. You know, it's not nothing wrong for that. It's not far fetched to me. You know, but we'll see how it play out down the road. So we'll see. All right, so I have for y'all for right now, man. Give me a like, comment, subscribe to the channel. Let me know how you feel about that was the topic I just talked about tonight. There's a game. I probably won't be there tonight to cover it, but I'll be watching it from the crib and doing a uh, post game recap. Um, and they, they play uh, USF South Florida a chance to extend the, extend the winning streak to 11 that'll be the longest streak that Penny will have bit, well, Penny uh, Hardaway will have on his tenure of the program and bless their peace amount